Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a super exciting video for y'all. This is quite different for me. I don't do hair videos on my channel. So if you like this video, if you like me doing more hair type videos, hairstyle videos, please like this video and comment below. But today we're actually reviewing a hair tool. And I think the last time I did a hair related video on my channel was when I first started my channel back in 2012, I did a Gwen Stefani tutorial on like the little knots that she does. And so I think that's the last time I've done a hair related video. So I was long overdue and I saw this product and it immediately intrigued me. Now, I went to the store and got this product not intending to do a video on it, but when I got home and I was looking at it and I was kind of trying to find reviews, I couldn't really find anything. Um, I know there's a lot of hype around this product, but I couldn't really get any good YouTube reviews on it. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna review it and demo it and create my own review. So here we are, and today we're talking about this Revlon Salon One Step Hair Dryer and Volumizer. I'm sure some of you have heard of this. I feel like it's gotten uh, quite a bit of hype recently um, because a lot of people compare it to the new Dyson blow dryer thing that's like $500, which is so crazy. Um, so I wanted to try this out, one, because Although I'm pretty good at doing my hair, I'm really good at curling hair and doing braids and styles and different things like that. I am terrible at blow drying my hair. I cannot blow dry my hair. I cannot round brush it. I can't, I just can't do it. I'm not coordinated. Plus, I just don't have the time and then you're having to hold the round brush, hold the blow dryer and do all of it at once. And it's just too much for me. So this immediately intrigued me because I'm all about quick and easy, especially when it comes to makeup and hair because I don't have a lot of time to get ready in the morning. So that's what initially kind of drew me to this product and I actually used it today. I will be inserting footage of me using it. I'll give you a demo, show you exactly how I use it. And then I'm also gonna let you know whether I think it's worth the $50. Um, so before we get into the video, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and then hit that notification bell as well. That'll notify you every single time that I post a new video. And um, we're just gonna go ahead and jump right in. It's that kind of day. I've got my Starbucks double shot espresso. I bought, well, Chris, Chris talked me into buying these at Sam's because I love these to kind of treat myself if I'm out and about and I just kind of want a little bit of a caffeine fix. This is like a treat for me. I never drink these. They have so much sugar in them, but every once in a while I'll get one. So Chris uh, persuaded me heavily to buy a case of these at Sam's and now I'm like addicted. So I try and only do one every week or maybe two a week but I'm really trying not to uh, go overboard with these, but they're so good, they're so good. And they're actually not too sweet, um, but they do have a lot of sugar. So like I mentioned, we are going to be reviewing this bad boy right here. This is the Revlon Salon One Step Hair Dryer and Volumizer. It says power of a dryer, volume of a styler, smooth blowouts for in up to half the time, less heat related damage, ionic technology for fast, silky, smooth, shiny results, ceramic coating helps reduce damage, tangle free combination bristles for detangling, improved volume and control, and then a lightweight ergonomic design for maximum comfort and ease of use. So this just all sounds amazing. Now does it actually do what it says? So this is what the actual brush looks like and I've used it quite a few times so it's got my hair kind of tangled in there. Um, I believe it comes in two colors. I have the pink and I believe there's like a mint green one so if you want that one instead, um, standard plug. And then the little controls are actually on the handle so you just twist it like that. There's a a uh, cool setting, a low setting, and a high setting. It's definitely pretty lightweight, especially when you're considering if you are gonna be round brushing your hair with a standard hair dryer. I find that a hair dryer is gonna be a lot heavier than this, and then plus you're having to do a round brush. You're having two tools. This is all in one, and I find that it's pretty lightweight. Um, I do wanna mention, on the end, there's this little thing right here. I don't know what you would call it, but this is actually really helpful. I found it helpful when I was actually blow drying my hair because I can hold on to it, kind of like a curl iron I can hold on to this and then use the uh, 
use the tool. All right, so the air is gonna be coming from within the brush. So if you can see these kind of diagonal slits, that's where the air is going to come out like in a blow dryer and it's coming out through the bristles. So that's how that works. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of talk you through the demo and tell you exactly how I would recommend using this and then if I think it's worth the money. So what I did today, um, what I've been doing when I've been using this product is I will apply a hair oil or some kind of leave-in conditioner and I put it up in a towel and I'll either go do my makeup. I would highly recommend just letting your hair dry a little bit before going in with this tool. And then what I find is the easiest way to use this tool is to section off your hair. So I'm first just dividing my hair in half and then I'm going to clip up the top portion of my hair so that it doesn't get in the way and we're just going to focus on this bottom section first. So I divided this bottom section in half and I'm going to go ahead and start with the left side. Like I said, I'm not an expert on round brushing hair, but just from what I've noticed um, at the salon when I do get my hair done, um, I notice they do these kind of motions where you wrap the hair around the brush and that's gonna give it that really nice kind of flippy look and it's gonna give it a little bit of a curl. Now you can flip it underneath the brush or you can flip it over the brush. So whichever way that you prefer to have your hair go, whichever direction, you can kind of choose what you want. Now something that I did not do um, when I initially started doing my hair and I kind of started doing it later on, but what I noticed when I first used this tool is that I got a lot of frizziness towards the root of my hair. So to, the easiest way to combat this is to actually take the brush, apply it right on top of the hair right at the root and then you're gonna flip the hair over the brush and you're gonna use this to really smooth out your hair even if you want volume I highly recommend doing this step otherwise you're just gonna have a tiny little baby hairs especially if you have a lot of breakage um, this is if you don't do this step it can really make all those little tiny hairs uh, really stand out so I would highly recommend doing this step first before you start going in and actually styling the hair so just to recap, when your hair is uh, damp and you're immediately going in with the tool, I would recommend first placing the brush on top of the hair at the root, really smoothing it out, and then going in and creating whatever shape that you want. And for me, I like my hair to kind of curl under, so that's why I'm doing these rotating motions, curling the hair under the brush, and that'll give it that really nice kind of volume and texture, and it'll give it that really nice flippy salon blowout look. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed through the rest of my hair, and then when we get to the top of the head, I will go ahead and explain exactly how I do that. So the thing I love the most about this tool is the way that it makes the front and the top of your hair look. And this is something that cannot be achieved with a flat iron. I've tried it. And this is something that you really can only get from round brushing your hair. So what I like to do is tape the top section. I'm gonna divide it into two. I'm gonna kind of take my front layers. If you have bangs, this would be your bangs. And I'm going to start with those first. And then the second half in the back, I'm gonna go and clip that out of the way and then we'll come back to that in just a little bit. I'm not going to part my hair yet because I want this section to have a ton of volume. So I'm gonna treat it all as one section and I'm first gonna go right on top of the hair at the root. This is just gonna help smooth out the hair. I'm doing the exact same steps that I did previously and I'm going in a downward motion, just really smoothing out that hair. You do not want a ton of frizziness right in the front of your face at the root of your hair. So really make sure that you really smooth this out nicely. And then I'm gonna go in and take my brush and start rotating the hair under and this is going to give the front section of your hair especially if you have a lot of layers this is going to make the biggest difference and it's going to make your hair look 
gorgeous. So I'm just, again, just rotating the brush under like I have been this entire time, really creating that nice bit of curl. All right, so now that we're done with the front, I'm gonna show you the magic that has just happened. So I'm just gonna flip my hair back, and then I always like to part my hair down the middle. You can part it whichever way you want, but because we did not part it previously, it's just gonna kind of fall around your face, and it's not gonna look too rigid or too harsh or too precise. It's gonna have that really nice kind of feathery volume and just fall right around your face. So now I'm gonna go back to that second half of the top of my hair. I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna first put the brush on top of the hair, really smooth it out, and then I'm gonna go in and style it the way I have with all the other hair. Again, I'm doing all of this hair as one piece. I'm not parting my hair yet because I want this to have a lot of volume and I want it to look really blown out. So after I've styled it, I'm going to just kind of let it fall. I'm gonna part it down the middle so that it matches the front section of my hair. And look how gorgeous this is. It just, it looks like I went to the salon. There's so much volume, it's not tangled, it's, it's very smooth, but there's just so much volume and it looks so good it looks like i got this professionally done and like i said just the top of the hair is really the hardest part for me to have it look really pretty and round brush and fluffy so this just makes the world of a difference So really quickly, I want to show you a way, if you're just finding that your hair is still a little bit flat, it's not, it doesn't have that kind of wispiness to it that you want, you can go back in with set in, you know, whatever sections you want, holding the brush there for about five seconds, really letting the heat lock in that style that I want, and then I'm letting it go, and as you can see, it just gives that beautiful wispiness to the hair. All right guys, so I hope that demo made sense and I hope that I explained everything. I'm, I'm kind of bad at explaining hair things. I don't do hair videos, so it's my first, but I hope that the demo was helpful and it kind of showed you how to use it. And it really is very easy. It does take a little bit of time, especially if you have a ton of hair and you have very thick hair. It's gonna take you a little bit of time. My arm got a little tired after a while, but it's nothing like having to use a round brush and a blow dryer, cause that is just basically impossible for me. So in relation to that, it's so much easier. But as you can see, my hair hair just looks so fluffy and wispy. It's got shape. And as I do this with my fingers, as you can see, I didn't put any dry shampoo. I didn't put any kind of texturizing spray or any kind of product up here at my root. As you can see, look how much volume it has. And it's because we did all that heat right here and really focused on round brushing this area. And it just made the biggest difference but I absolutely love it I think that it does everything that it says it does I mean hope I'm really hoping that this is actually not damaging my hair because that's kind of the biggest thing I was worried about is like you're pulling on your hair constantly and especially meshed with the heat I was a little bit worried that I might be pulling my hair out or kind of damaging it I didn't notice a ton of hair falling out like sometimes when you're brushing your hair you're gonna get little pieces of hair falling out and I did get a little bit of that but I didn't notice anything out of the ordinary so that is something that I'll kind of keep an eye on um, but I mean I think this product is fabulous if you're a mom like me and you want your hair to look nice whether you're going on a date with your husband or if you just are going out to brunch with your girlfriends because you never get to do that and you just want to look extra special and you want your hair to look really nice I think this is an amazing product. Another thing I wanted to mention, when I did this the first time, I blew dry my hair and then I slept on it and then the next day I woke up and my hair still looked really, really good. It looked very smooth and it still had the nice kind of wispiness to it. So I will say that. So you don't have to do this every single day. If you do it once and then um, you know, you can leave your hair styled this way for three to four days, even if you just need to go in and kind of touch up some areas, maybe touch up your bangs or your front 
section of your hair, you can do that. That will take you probably 10 minutes. So I think this is gonna cut down on a lot of time. It's easy, it makes round brushing so easy for anybody, anybody can do this. And I love this. I'm going to use this so much and I am not one to really focus on my hair. If I'm going to focus on one thing, if I'm going somewhere, I'm going to focus on my makeup. And then I usually just put my hair in a ponytail or I'll put it in a sleek top knot or something like that. But I very rarely do my hair and this just really makes me want to wear my hair down more and really show off my hair because of how easy it is to use and the fact that I can just do it one day and then have that style um, you know every single day even when I sleep on it that's just so amazing and it just makes this so much better I would highly highly recommend using some kind of product in your hair don't go in straight with no product in your hair maybe even just a little bit of a hair oil or just some kind of leave-in conditioner or leave-in treatment um, sometimes what I like to do is I just like to take a little bit of rosehip oil and just apply that right to my ends and then um, I kind of take a little bit and kind of use it right here just to kind of smooth my hair so I don't have a ton of frizziness just add something to your hair to give it a little bit of weight um, and I think I think you'll get better results that way but other than that I didn't use any other product in my hair I only use this leave-in treatment and a little bit of rosehip oil on my ends and that's it I didn't use hairspray or mousse or texturizing spray or anything so this I mean I haven't used any kind of styling products or finishing products so I'm so so happy with how this turned out I hope you enjoyed this review if you did please give it a big thumbs up I would greatly appreciate it I hope y'all are having a blessed week as always and I will see y'all in my next video bye guys